Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining us. I'm just going to quickly run through uh, types of radiation in magnetic fields. So I'm going to start at the very beginning, so feel free to skip through if you already know about magnetic fields. Um, but say this is a magnet here, we've got a north end and a south end. Make sure that when you're talking about magnetism, you're always talking about the direction of the magnet, magnetic field. Um, there's no sort of positive or negative or built up area of charge or anything like that. It's really just, um, is it going this way or is it going that way? Is it pointing north or south? So when you have a magnet, um, you may see the classic experiment that you sprinkle some uh, bits of iron dust over a magnet. There will maybe a piece of paper in between. And you start seeing little patterns that kind of look like this, where... Um, the iron filings will line themselves up along the magnetic field. And you may even get kind of things going in a bit of a circular pattern around here as well. So there's this kind of area around a magnet that can influence other things. That's what we call the magnetic field. Um, and you can see that there is like a bit of a pattern in that things come straight out of north and south ends as well. This kind of magnetic field has a direction. So we can draw this, we can say that magnetic fields come kind of out of one end, say north, and they come around and they go back into the south end. That can just help us give a direction to this. So it's like this magnet's kind of pointing this way. So what I've got here is uh, rubber. This is going to be my magnet because I'm at home and I don't have a magnet here. But um, we're going to look at ways you can draw a magnetic field to show other people what you're talking about. So this is like three lines pointing up. That's like saying we've got um, the north end down the bottom and the south end up the top. So magnetic field lines always draw um, as arrows from north to south. And that's like having the magnet this way. That's cool. If we turn the magnet around, this is how we could represent it on paper just to show what way this magnetic field is working. Um, but what if we wanted to have the magnets like standing up and coming in and out of this plane, this piece of paper? We'd have to think about a way we could draw that. That's what I've got down here. So I like to think of maybe instead of a magnet, think of like an a arrow um, going from north to south. And if we wanted to stick that coming up at you, north facing below and south coming up at you, we would maybe think of arrows coming towards us and we would be seeing the tips of those arrows. So little dots like this just represent a magnetic field coming in and out of the plane this way. But if we turned our magnet around and we hit it going the other way, going into the page, we would maybe see the arrow moving away from us. We might see the feathers of the arrow. So we might see some little crosses. And that is just one way we can represent the magnetic fields on paper. Now, what does that have to do with radiation? Glad you asked. Um, when you have any sort of charged particle that's moving through a magnetic field, it does experience force. Um, and we can use that information to help us. And there's always a trend with this. You will learn this later on when we do electricity and electromagnetism. But um, you can determine what way a particle will move um, and what direction that force will be in. And there's a little bit of a rule called a right-hand slap rule that can help you determine that. So here I've got a magnetic field pointing out to us. So north is under the paper, south is coming out of the paper, and here I have a alpha particle, which is a positively charged particle, right? It's a two plus charge. And if we were to fire this particle through a magnetic field, it would start being like diverted or its motion would change, its direction would change one way or another, because this magnetic field would be pushing it. So to determine what way that would go, you don't necessarily have to do this for atomic and nuclear, but it's a good, like, if you want to learn how to do it, you use your right hand and your fingers represent the magnetic field from north to south, just like those arrows. So you'd point your fingers up at you. Your thumb would move in the direction of a positively charged particle, so it moves sideways. And where your palm is, that's kind of where that force, what way the force is going to push on that particle. So you can see that the force is going to push this particle down the page. 
And so you could draw a bit of a diagram to show how this particle might be affected if it were to move through this magnetic field. Here we've got a beta particle. Now that's a negatively charged particle. So because it has the opposite charge, it's going to experience a force in the opposite direction. And this is the same magnetic field going in the same way. We already kind of found out that a positive particle would experience a downwards force. So a beta particle is going to experience an upwards force. Now you can see I've drawn this arrow going up quite fast, whereas this one was a bit more of a bigger curve. Um, don't forget a beta particle is very, very small, so it doesn't have very much mass. So any amount of force is actually going to change its, mo uh, its motion quite drastically. And that's why we would see quite a steep upwards curve for a beta particle, um, but like a gentle sloping downwards curve for an alpha particle. How are you going to use this information? Well, um, if you have a magnetic field and you know what way it's going and you shot some sort of unknown particle through it, you could see what way it comes out of that magnetic field and that could help you identify if it was an alpha particle or beta particle. Or the other way around, if you knew you had an alpha particle but you didn't know what way the magnetic field was going, you could shoot your alpha particle through the field and see what way it's coming out and that would help you decide what direction your magnetic field is going. One last thing, what about gamma um, rays? Well, they are not charged particles. Okay, so the charged particle has to be moving through the magnetic field. If you have um, a gamma ray, it will not be affected by magnetic field, so it will just go straight through. Hope that helps.